Okay, something a little more unusual. And a box of a strap. So I've already done the sticky, but check it out. Oh my god. Okay, nice little thank you card. Cool. Box in a box in a box. <clears throat> okay, right. There we go. Let me get NATO. This is actually my second genuine Omega strap. My other one I bought uh, used. And not too bad price. But uh, the ones I've been bidding on recently on eBay. I got them for £25 and they're brand new, so. No brand new, really. Buy it brand new. Ooh, snazzy case. Cool. Oh yeah, I ordered a Omega strap thingy, toolbar, spring bar, removal tool thingy, an extra tenner, says I'm a as you might expect, it's got a nice feel to it. Tiny little fork end on that. Cool. I don't have a nice quality pleasure on already, but fuck it. This one says Amiga. <laughs> For the fanboys. Okay. A little paddy bit. This is. Okay, looks nice. And here's the strap. Cool. I do like these things. There is something special about an Omega Nota. Just everything feels so high quality. So there we go. Nice one with a black, uh, well, black strap. The red edgings. That's to go my uh, new 2000 Omega Seamaster 50th Anniversary GMT, which is uh, very nice. Nice retro, nice sword hands, I love that watch. Um, I recently found out about it, to be honest. I started looking for a GMT. And it was the one I actually liked out of sort of the modern ones that are available at a reasonable price and um, and the vintage stuff so yeah I'm going to sign there and there this thing feels so good oh you can get straps which feel <coughs> pretty much as good for 15 quid 30 quid um, got some nice ones off Etsy actually for my uh, Seamaster 300 MC, that takes a that's a 21 mil lug width, so it takes the 22 mil um, strap. Uh, so I got a, a no time to die style, that expector style, off Etsy for 15 quid each or something, and that should be a good quality. Quite happy with those, uh, but. I had a original Spectre one in uh, 20 mil, which is ideal for the Seamaster um, GMT, and this one, which is a better match because the GMT hand is red, and the GMT on the dial is red as well, so it just picks out those accents and just has a little bit of extra matching coolness about it. So yeah, cool. 
So I've got this really nice case from Omega. I can store all my NATO straps in here now. I'll take that in set out, I don't think I need that. <coughs> oh, what's this? Oh, spring bars. Cool. Got a little box of spare spring bars. Four, all straight. That's handy. Cool. Happy with that. I like it. I like it very much. And you get a manual for it. <coughs> Interesting. But it doesn't say very much. Learn how to change your strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Go online with that special square code thing and it will show you how to use it. Everyone has how to use an ASO strap, the piece of piss. <coughs> cool, right, there we go then. Oh. I, shall, I shall pop this on. I shall pause the video and come back with it on the, on the watch. How's that? That's, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so rather than just stick it on and show you, I just show you how it goes on in the first place. So uh, I'm going to leave the sticky on the metal parts for now. So in at the top, then through the top, up through the bottom. And let's have a look how it sits. I'll probably do. Slug that up a bit, pop it through here, put a little fancy going through because the plastic is still on. There we go, in it goes, cool. So, there we go. Nice red hat bits, the red strap. Let's see how this works. For me. What are you doing? I'm trying to do is looking over the top of the camera to see what I'm up to. Is it through? That's through. Okay. the keepers I've got this much of an end left two ways to do this you can fold it back pop it through from this direction and what I can also do if I wanted to move that keeper up snug the end in like that but what I tend to do is I'll leave it down here and then what I will do is I would fold it backwards on itself. And that. Yeah, which is awkward to do. And just push it through the keep like that. And then what I guess is we bulge at the top like that. Yeah, cool. I like it. So these are retailing at £145 at uh, Omega Direct now. Which, yeah, it's a shitload of money, but I think uh, you get what you pay for. And, you know, as far as I can, I like to have OE type straps with my watches. Not with all of them. You know, sometimes I have to spend 30 quid on a a leather thing from Kokota, or um, I'll get something um, handmade at the strap tailor. I can get one done at the minute for my, uh, my new Cartier because uh, the Cartier strap is way too short. So, get a nice new strap for my uh, my new Cartier watch, my new Cartier tank, Solar Beat, as it happens. But uh, yeah, strap tailor, very good. 
he's always doing 15% off, um, so just follow him. So he's usually like some like strat 15, the code anyway. Um, the recent ones I've had have all been um, ostrich. Yeah, ostrich is cool. I've got my, uh, what's it called? I've got my JLC Reverso on an ostrich. Not from Strap Taylor, it's a, it's, a, it's a JLC strap. But yeah, a nice honey brown um, ostrich strap is really cool. Dresses up and down, casual quite nicely. Smart. But there you go. Let me strap on. Unboxed. Cool case to store all of my Omega and non-Omega NATOs. Hope that's of use to you. Cheers for now.